one of the great global challenges that we're faced with is how to provide power to a growing population in a sustainable and economically viable way. We have one of the most carbon intense electricity sectors in the world. Wind remains the most cost effective of those forms. The significance of Ararat is very substantial. This is absolutely the first project that will go in the ground uh, following the certainty that the bipartisan agreement to support the renewable energy target. This will be the third largest wind farm constructed in Australia so far. It's a project we've been working on for a long time now. I actually found the site about nine years ago. We've now got a project that has um, all of the community behind us. I have been to the Ararat wind farm site. It is beautiful, rolling, pasture, you know, very undulating, quite steep in parts, really spectacular. Well, we're really keen to make sure that this project has a really positive impact on the local community. We're estimating at the moment it's going to employ something like 165 people across the site during the construction phase. It will just flow money into the local community. The lease payments that are received by local farmers, uh, it helps them to drought-proof their properties. So one of the really special things about this project is we're going to be able to offer a community fund, which will equate to about $2 million over the lifetime of the wind farm. And that will be there to support local good causes um, and charities. And the fund will be administered locally by representatives of the council and community representatives as well. All around, it's it just a terrific good news story. For, for the Ararat community. It's been a great journey. They've been very welcoming and very positive in their support for the wind farm. Where Ararat is located, it's in a very strong part of the grid, so it's a really sensible place to build a wind farm. It's going to be quite exciting to see the turbines going up in, in those locations. We're excited that this is a model for the substantial investment that's going to need to occur over the next decade or so. It sends a very clear message at a macro level about the renewable energy is back in town. So it is a tremendous story and GE should be very proud of the role it has played to bring a project like this to fruition.